color-changing tea that you've seen on TikTok or Instagram is called Butterfly Pea Flower Tea. All right, George, so you know how I am. I decided to really go down the rabbit hole and do some research into why this tea looks so cool. Shocker, shocker. Yeah. Okay, so it comes from a uh, butterfly pea flower, which has actually been around for hundreds of years. People are using it now in tea, but it's also, you know, it's really, really popular in Southeast Asia. It's used in traditional medicine, and it's also used for coloring things like rice. It changes colors when things become more acidic or more basic. So basically the tea is a, is a pH indicator. Yeah, the tea is a pH indicator. And so I say we get some of this tea and then we add a bunch of weird stuff to it and see how many different colors we can get. Great, I'm down, let's do it. Butterfly pea flower tea contains molecules called turnitin anthocyanins. They're chemically reactive and they'll change their structure depending on the acidity of the solution you put them in. When they change structure, they change color. So that's why if you add something acidic like lime juice or basic like baking soda, you'll see the tea's color change. The pH of the tea that George and I are starting with is somewhere between a seven and an eight. At this pH, the anthocyanins take on this structure, which makes the tea look blue. Here we go. Look at that. Already we got a little bit of pink. Oh. It's very pretty. Lime is acidic. The acid reacts with anthocyanins to produce these molecules, which make the tea look violet. Based on the theory that when you add lime, it turns pink, I'm gonna add mm -hmm. acetic acid and I bet it will also turn pink. Ooh. That's a nice lilac. All right, so I'm gonna do a full teaspoon of baking soda actually became a darker, like a teal kind of, like a darker blue. When I add something basic, in this case baking soda, the anthocyanins take on this structure and the tea shifts to more of a greenish blue. But what if I add baking soda to the tea that I added lime juice to? All right, so I'm just gonna add a little bit. So this is the one I added lime to. Woo, and it's back. So I've got seltzer water here. Ooh. Yeah, that's definitely purple. I'm sure you get fizzy tea out of this. Oh, that's disgusting. Okay, now what if we add bleach? Well, what do you think is gonna happen? This is the wild card. Is bleach acidic? I think bleach is slightly acidic, yeah. Mm. I, I, think, I, I think it's gonna be clear. I'm gonna go for the clear prediction. I'm so excited. Look Ooh, okay. You see the bottom? Look at that. Yep. Wow. Ah, that's crazy. <laughs> that's awesome. We were wrong. Bleach is not acidic. It's actually really, really basic. See how it turns slightly yellow here before turning clear? What we think is happening is that the anthocyanins are responding to that basic pH of the bleach, which turns them into these molecules. But then the bleach reacts further with the anthocyanins, completely destroying them, and the tea becomes colorless. Let's remember that the bleach makes this very undrinkable. Don't drink bleach. Also don't inject bleach. Like I mentioned to George, butterfly pea flowers have been used for traditional medicines and to color food and clothes. And more recently, they've actually been used to make a bee-friendly insecticide. You have to admit, that's a pretty cool flower.